Hazel gives her bats flight training. She does it here in a specially built cage. It's a rare opportunity for us to bring in specialist cameras to observe bat flight in detail. Today, Hazel has two bats of different species with different flying techniques. First, the aptly named brown long-eared bat. Its short, wide wings make flight slow but manoeuvrable, essential to navigate through foliage to snatch insects from leaves. Those ears are incredible and therefore picking up tiny, tiny insect sounds that are around the cluttered forest. Next, a pipistrelle, Britain's commonest bat. Slimmer wings give it a smoother, faster flight. It can reach speeds of up to 30 kilometers an hour, ideal for capturing insects out in the open. It's fascinating how the wing shape and the speed of the bat can tell you so much mm. about its biology and what it's feeding on and where it's foraging. But the pipistrelle is a slow coach compared to the fastest bat in the world. The Brazilian free-tail bat has been clocked at an astonishing 160 kilometers an hour, speedier in level flight than the fastest bird. What makes bats such accomplished flyers is their extraordinary wings. This is X-ray footage of a bat in flight, filmed in a lab in the States. It reveals how their wings are based on the same anatomy as our hands, but with massively elongated fingers. The four fingers make up most of the wing, while the thumb has evolved into a claw sticking out the front. Before a bat can take off, its wing muscles need to be warmed up. To find out how, Ecologist Dr. Liat Wicks uses a thermal camera to record the temperature. This bat's been inactive for a while, um, so it's appearing cooler against the hand. To be able to fly and sort of kickstart their muscles, they need to warm up quite quickly. <laughs> so what they have is something called brown fat. This brown fat is concentrated between the shoulder blades and it can be burned to produce extra internal heat. So it'll take some, some minutes, and once it's warmed up to its optimum flight temperature, it'll then become more active and probably take off. Once in the air, bats have the opposite problem, cooling down. Because they flap their wings up to 12 times a second, their muscles produce so much heat, it puts the bat at risk of overheating. The bat's body appears very, very hot, sometimes hotter than human face in the infrared, wow. whereas the wings are relatively cool. So where are they losing energy from? So How are they not exploding? A recent study showed that they lose the majority of their heat from their body, but it's still how. How are they doing that? Right. So we're looking at how maybe it's radiating through the fur itself. We're very early stages of base, <laughs> baseline data collection, but we are, we're testing those theories. Research like this is revealing the intricate natural engineering that makes bats such amazing flyers. <laughs>